Hi everyone, so today I thought I would do my makeup on camera, which is something I haven't done in the longest time. Um, I don't usually wear makeup when I'm at home, but I am going out with my friends today. So obviously with wearing a mask, you need to make sure that your makeup kind of sticks. So I'm going to be using a primer today. I'm using the Professional. This is just a little sample size that I got. Usually I do my makeup before I change my outfit, but today I can't really be doing my makeup in my pyjamas, so... I already changed my outfit into this and I'm quite scared because I'm wearing white jeans and I really don't want to spill anything onto them. I wasn't really sure what to wear because basically I'm going to God's own junkyard today with some of my friends from sixth form and I just don't really know what you would wear there because it's so neon and obviously you want your outfit to be seen but you want to match the vibe of the place and stuff so I wasn't entirely sure what to wear but I ended up going for a pair of baggy white jeans, um, a black shirt and this green sweatshirt pullover type of thing. So I hope that kind of matches the vibe. I did message on the group chat but no one's replied just yet saying what they're going to wear. I think everyone is still sleeping. Yeah, it's only 9.30 at the moment so I assume they're still sleeping. For foundation I'm going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear, whatever it's called. It's got such a long name. All my brushes are broken, which is so annoying. They just break. I got these when I think I was in year 11, so, um, and I got them on Amazon. They were pretty cheap anyway, so I understand, but still. I tried gluing them back, but they don't really like to stick, so, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to buy some new brushes eventually. But like, these brushes still work, so I just can't justify getting some new brushes right now. As long as they work, that's all that matters. I think I'm going to do my eyebrows next, and my natural eyebrows are not really that dark, but this really darkens them up. And also, I haven't done my eyebrows in the longest time. I always do them at home because I did it at the um, beauty bar slash salon once, and the lady just made my eyebrows too thin, so since then, I've just always been doing it at home because if I mess up then I can only blame myself and I can't blame someone else so that's why I just do it at home I don't really do too much with my eyebrows anymore I just leave them to be quite natural so I was going to do some sort of graphic eyeliner but I'm not sure if it really matches the vibe that I'm going for so I think I'm just going to do a natural natural I'm going to do a black eyeliner oh that was a bit thick I go back to uni in September. I'm not entirely sure when, because I believe for Queen Mary, um, week commencing the 14th of September is Freshers' Week, or Welcome Week, or whatever that is. So I think I start the week after that, but I haven't been given my timetable yet, so I don't actually know when my classes are, and stuff like that. I believe lectures are supposed to be all online this year, and tutorial classes will be in person, but. It's not really been confirmed yet, so I'm not entirely sure. I like the lecture atmosphere, so I'm really going to miss that because I don't know if we are ever going to go back to face-to-face -face lectures. That was something that I really liked because in lectures I was there with all my friends, because obviously in tutorial groups you're split into groups, but whereas if it's a lecture, you're with everyone. I've chosen my modules that I want to do this year. You'll find out more about those uh, when the vlogs come out. This year should be good. The course is going to be so hard, I already know it. Like, I just looked at the syllabus. It just looks so hard, all the stuff that we're meant to do. And there's more coding this year, which I'm really not excited about. I am going to put some lashes on. These unicorn lashes. I do need to trim them because I've never worn them before. And the sides do have that little extra band. So let me just chop those off. These lashes look very small. Usually the ones by uh, Doll Beauty, that lash band is the perfect length for me. Like I don't need to cut it at all. And this is so much smaller than that. So I think I'm gonna try and stick these just at the corners. I think makeup is done. So you'll probably next see me when I'm out and about. So the last time you saw me was when I was in my room. I hope I'm speaking loud enough to cover this audio because I do not want to get copyrighted. But basically, guess where I am right now? I'm in McDonald's, obviously, where else would I be? Um, with my friends, because we've met up. Yay! 
my pretty friends. So I'm in Lidl, I need to buy this. Oh, hi. oh, oh my god, I'm in it. <laughs> Done. Please like place the item in the bagging area. <laughs> Maybe it's over there. <laughs> have you scanned all your shopping today? Yes, I have. Please take your change and your receipt. I will. Let's go and get the train. Woo! Train station vibes. Haven't been in a train station since I last went to university, which was a very long time ago. Really? I haven't been on the train since lockdown. Why am I out of breath? Oh no, we just missed the train. When the train comes and they go inside the train, they have to walk up. Yeah, that's okay. Vlog time. It's not the way that Oh my gosh, it's so empty. Gotta get those Dettol adverts for coronavirus, obviously. Don't wanna get to see. Stay alert, control the virus, save lives. Yes, leaving this much of a distance for social distancing, obviously. All right, guys, so we've literally just come out of God's Own Junkyard. How was it? It was really nice. It was good. It was good. Hey. Loads of lights. It was a lot smaller than I expected it to be, to be fair. I thought true, it was going to be really true. big. Um, it was literally like, like it was only probably about 10 meters maximum, like yeah. in the whole building. It was really small. It was really, really small because obviously I was trying to find the seat where everyone takes photos on mm. on Instagram, but I just couldn't find it and I wasn't sure where it was. I mean, at least you got some sort of yeah. seat. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> we tried to get um, this red sofa, which I've also seen a lot, and luckily we managed to get onto that one. But yeah. I just couldn't find the chair which everyone chair. sits on. And I was looking in the cafe area and it was mm. really full, so I feel like it was probably in the cafe section. Mm -hmm. um, but oh well, we didn't go there to eat because we didn't book a table either. So I guess, well, the pictures that we got were fine. And this lighting is really bad, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, this looks so cool. I think it's a little, like, cafe or something. I like this little graffiti, I guess you could call it, on the wall. That looks quite cool. Oh. Getting train to Brixton. Okay, let's go. This is London in rush hour now during quarantine. It is so weird. Normally this would be like an off-peak time but this is rush hour believe it or not. I like how these moving screens look. They look so Lux compared to the ones that I'm used to seeing. Oh, you can see me there on that screen. Oh, wow. I love these photos here. I literally feel like we're going through an airport because I, because because <laughs> basically we're at um, King's Cross, St Pancras, 
and the normal way for the lines that we need to get are been blocked so we have to go through this way and it just looks like we're at the airport we're just saying that we wish we were actually getting on like the Eurostar we're actually going to France by the way no I'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking. We're not, we're just no, going 